Well, good Friday evening to you, true believers. Quincy University Soccer scored two huge recruiting wins in familiar hunting ground on Thursday, landing a pair of program pillars from across town at Quincy Notre Dame. All-Stater Leo Can brings 74 goals and 42 assists worth of high school production to the table. But it is his overall skill level and demonstrable ability to grow to challenge that makes him a potentially highly versatile set piece for the Hawks moving into the future. You know, just talking to uh, the coaches a lot, I really like their program. And obviously I've got some friends going there now and I like the players. I've met a couple of them. Really just staying close to home, being with my parents as they both went to Quincy and uh, just the offer that they gave me and their coaching staff I really like. Yeah, the physicality will definitely be the biggest thing, I think. Uh, playing high school, I'm playing out there with, you know, there are freshmen out there. I think the physicality will be a lot higher and be a lot more demanding. So the transition into college will be a lot harder, but I think I'll be able to do it. Carp and I have talked a lot about where I'm going to play. We've even talked about me playing defense that I've never really played before. But yeah, I think it'll be a big improvement and I think it'll be hard to adjust. But I think once I adjust to the level, I'll be able to play anywhere. I've talked to uh, the, um, the staff over there and I think I'm going to go into finance and get some sort of become, I'm going to try to become a finance major out of that and um, be a financial advisor. And they've got a really good program over there. So that, I think that's what I'm going to plan on doing. As a former keeper himself, Quincy University boss Mike Carpenter has to love the potential of Max Furex coming from a cross town as well. And the Raiders senior stopper relishes the opportunity to both play for a coach who can offer unique positional insight, as well as to keep the Raider to Hawk talent pipeline flowing. Yes, definitely. When I was talking to him, you know, he really said like he understood where I was coming from. I felt like I had a really good connection with him and the coaching staff there. So yeah, that definitely helped. Obviously, uh, my physical gets stronger. You know, GLVC is probably one of the most physical conferences in soccer. So get stronger, maybe put on some more muscle. Pretty much the support system. I felt like I had more opportunity there than I did some other colleges. And yeah, pretty much having everyone here with me, everyone here supporting me. Yeah, I'm going to be going into finance. John Woods soccer boss Bob Cowman also wisely fished the Q&D soccer waters on Thursday in landing the unsung linchpin of the entire Raider defense. Coach Cowman actually reached out to me personally and he just like he really wanted me to come and visit the campus and see how we worked there and when I went there I kind of loved what I saw and I kind of just was like hey this is this is great and I checked out every other schools and honestly I didn't really feel as much wanted there as I did at John Wood so kind of felt like that was the right call. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, we got a guy coming in from Scotland, the Dominican Republic. That, I mean, that's amazing. I mean, the fact that I can talk to other people from around the world is something I didn't even think I'd be able to do. Uh, well, I was just talking with uh, Coach Kalman, uh Speed. Got to get faster. Got to get that stamina back up there. I need to get some, uh, I need to get some more body on me. I got to build some muscle mass. I got to get ready, you know. Uh, actually, I wanted to become a police officer when I get out of community college and hopefully get into the uh, police academy and possibly become a state cop. I don't know. It's the, that's kind of the, the goal.